This is a stereospherical test using two Kodak SP360, Kodak Pix Pros. Um, it's designed to have the stereo work when you're kind of lying down on your back. When you're facing where I am right now, the stereo should align. When you're looking straight up, it should align. And when you're leaning back and looking behind you backwards, the hammock should align. Whereas if your head is oriented upward and you just turn around to look behind you, the left eye and right eye would be swapped. Because the cameras right now are right next to each other, they're touching each other. We find that the stereo works best like that, even though it's a little closer than interpupillary distance. Um, now the cameras are masked out. So right to the right and the left where the cameras are, it should basically be in mono, um, literally in mono, where we mask the cameras out with the other eyes footage. Um, and I should be up hanging above you, and if you're looking straight up, oriented towards where I was at the beginning, the stereo should work. Whereas if you look straight up and were to rotate your head, it wouldn't work, which is why most stereo configurations right now have it mono when you're looking up, or just kind of weird and wonky. Um, but be stereo when you're looking all the way around, uh, whereas here it's, it's a different thing trying it out with two cameras. So you can see the lens distortion is not really corrected for here correctly. This is just what the Kodak Pix Pro app gives you when you use the YouTube compatible um, unfolding format. Um, here was our first test. We had the cameras a little further apart, like one IPD across, which turned out to be too much. The stereo was exaggerated and weird, maybe because the distortion is incorrect on the echo rectangular, uh, not echo rectangular format. Um, so I tried squishing the footage and that made the stereo mesh a little better. Um, that was 10% squish. So here's the original of the dome footage. And you can see the triangles just are all sorts of weird shapes and sizes, whereas a dome should like a, look like a nice pretty dome. So squishing at 5% um, it changes the perspective. It doesn't correct for the distortion. Uh, it makes the stereo a little easier to mesh. Something I was trying out, and this is 10%. When you're facing me right now, and if you look up behind you and you know your head's upside down, the hammock is in the stereo. But what if you want to turn your head and look around and look at me in the hammock? So right now I'm going to use a match in Adobe Premiere um, and switch the right eye and left eye footage just in that area behind you so that now, now the hammock should be in correct stereo if your head is oriented upright and you're turned around looking at the hammock. And it should also work if your head is looking towards Elijah, but upright. Um, and that's just by switching that part of the right eye and left eye footage. And of course, still, uh, the other parts are going to kind of be in mono, what's in like the plane where the two cameras align to the right and left. Um, and now if I, I think right now it's designed, if you're looking straight up, Facing the hammock, it's not going to mesh because it's still designed to mesh if you're rotated the other way. But just now I switched it. I'm assuming you're looking at the hammock. And now I extended the mat to have it so that if you're looking at me climbing the dome and looking up, that will be in stereo. So there's some amount of experimentation to do in how much I can predict where the person is looking, how the head's going to be oriented, and what alignment to get the stereo correctly. Uh, where if I can't do that at all, then I might just put it in mono. So here I am switching it to be the right eye and left eye footage are exactly the same. It's in mono, there's no more stereo, you can put your head in any orientation and it will mesh just fine. And here's the other bit of footage, again, the squished version, just so it will mesh the original. And then here is switching the right eye and left eye so that when you turn around and look at Elijah, not upside down, it should look meshed and then now um, in mono. So the end. That is the test. I did tests.